Hey everybody, it's Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Today's video is going to be a declutter. We are going to be going through my hair products and my body care products. I did this somewhat recently. I did this a few months ago, but we are going to be going through everything that I have in my drawers plus everything that is in my bathroom. So I'm going to take everything that is in my bathroom that's currently not being used, bring it in here. We're going to go through everything and try to declutter what we can I am moving I don't know if you guys knew that uh, most of you probably do but if this is your first video randomly I am moving and I need to condense down my beauty collection a bit so that's what we're going to be doing over the next few days I'm currently filming vlogmas where I post a video every single day in December up until Christmas so if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we've got going on for body care and hair care. They used to occupy these two Alex 9 drawer units from Ikea, but a couple of months ago I condensed the two entire units down to one. So now all of my hair care and body care is in here aside from these products and then the products that are in my bathroom, which we're gonna go get in a second. Um, this one is completely empty right now, which is great. I'm gonna try to condense down to the maximum six of these units. Um, we'll see if I can do five, but I'm thinking six is more realistic. So um, this one has hair care, body care. This one is empty. This one has skincare, plus we've got skincare up here. Also, I got an icy, and I had to try Coke and Cherry mixed together because so many people recommended that in my Glam Light Icy review. <laughs> and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I still think Blue Raspberry is superior. Um, but anyway, this has uh, like lip products and new makeup. We've got eyeshadow palettes you know, primer, foundation, concealer, powder, setting spray, um, blush bronzer, highlighter, face palettes, and then like brows and mascaras and stuff over there, plus this mound of stuff that needs to be sorted. But today we are going to focus on this section here. So hair care is what starts off the drawer. So I'm gonna go to my bathroom. I'll show you guys how much of a mess it is. I'm gonna go grab all of my hair care products and bring them into here so that we just have a good idea of everything that I have and I can see it all in one place. All right, you guys, so here is the mess that is my bathroom. I've done a few videos cleaning and organizing this space, but obviously we've got a mess going on. I emptied out all of the like beauty products from under here, so now all that's under the sink is like cleaning stuff and like yeah, pretty much just cleaning stuff. Um, so this is all hair care. There's, it's actually mostly hair care. There's like a few body care things. I also have like skincare here, which we'll include in tomorrow's video. And then in this drawer, I have some random hair care and body care as well. So I'm going to gather all of this stuff up. I'll probably have to set my camera down to do this. Um, but I'm going to bring it all into my beauty room and we can start going through everything and decluttering. All right guys, so it's crazy how much stuff can add up. I didn't think that I had this much hair care and body care stuff in my bathroom. I actually have more, but everything else that's in there is kind of like, um, I'm currently using slash it's in rotation. So there's no sense in me pulling that out here just to like for sure keep it so um here's all of the hair care and body care stuff that i have to go through plus everything that's in here i'm going to set you guys up on a tripod and we are going to start going through decluttering i don't know how intense of a declutter this is going to be but i would like all of this to fit in this drawer with everything that's in here and it's pretty full as it is so um yeah i'm thinking I'm thinking I might just take everything out and put it on the floor. I have like bubble wrap and moving stuff right now. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I might like lay something down and just take it all out and put it on the floor so that I can see it all in one place. Sometimes I go drawer by drawer. Sometimes I lay it all out. It just depends. Um, but for this kind of stuff, I feel like it'll be good to lay it out on the floor.
Okay, so pause from taking everything out. I thought I would show you guys an actual before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the drawers. So this is my first drawer. We have a second hair care drawer, a third hair care drawer, a fourth hair care drawer. Then we've got some self tanning stuff. We've got Sol de Janeiro. We've got more body care. We've got more body care. And we have scrunchies and hair clips and stuff, which I need to go through all of that as well. So that's the before. I'm gonna put you guys back over here so I can continue putting everything onto this blanket. All right guys, so here is the massive pile of hair care and body care. This is so many products, and it's literally only hair care and body care, so that's why pulling everything out is very good. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of just how much you have. So <laughs> I am going to kind of get to organizing all of this into decent piles and then I'm going to talk through the declutter with you guys. We definitely got to get rid of some stuff because there's no way that all of this is going to fit in just this one Alex Nine drawer, which is what I need to happen. So let's get to work. Alright, so here is all of my body care. We have a lot going on right here. Um, I separated everything out from body care and then hair care, which we still have a lot of hair care. Definitely not as much as body care, but we're going to work on the body care first, which is why it's just kind of a little bit neater than this pile. We'll organize this pile when we get to it, but we are going to start with all of this stuff so i'm gonna set up my camera so that you guys have a nice view and we're gonna try to get rid of as much of this well not as much of it as we can but um i'm gonna try to do a good job and declutter a good little portion all right guys so here we have my body care um so i just wanted to throw this out there that um i'm gonna be trying my best to declutter as much as I can but at the same time this isn't going to be like a minimalist collection once I'm done decluttering so you know I, I think a declutter means something different to everybody so just be respectful of that please no negative unnecessarily mean comments I hate that I have to say that but it's just like I don't know I'm not trying to spread more negativity than is already out there so positive comments only please um so here we go. Uh, I have no idea where to start. Um, I guess I'll just grab a couple things that I know for sure that I want to keep. I have all of my Sol de Janeiro stuff in here as well. So there might be some hair care, uh, like Sol de Janeiro stuff, but I keep all of my Sol de Janeiro in a drawer, but I really need to curate my Sol de Janeiro collection, which means uh, it's a good thing for my friends because they can get some Sol de Janeiro products. <laughs> so
So first off, I'm definitely going to keep the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This stuff is amazing. It's so good. This is a massive thing that they sent me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a discount code with Sol de Janeiro, so I will have that linked down below uh, if you guys are interested in checking out their products. But I highly recommend them. I love them so much. Y'all can go to Sephora and sniff them. They smell so good. This is the original Boom Boom scent. And I am going to say Boom Boom because that is the proper pronunciation. Even though I want to say Bum Bum <laughs> because it's B-U-M-B-U-M. -B -U -M. But anyway, original scent. Absolutely fantastic. I am definitely keeping that. I have two of the Samba Foot Fetish Care products from Sol de Janeiro, and I don't need two, so I can just keep one. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep one and declutter one. By the way, I would say like 90% of this stuff is brand new, uh, and anything that's new that I am decluttering will be going to a new home, so nothing is going to waste. Everything in here is still good as far as dates go. Um, but yeah, I won't be like throwing anything away unnecessarily. Everything will find a new home. We're gonna go ahead and continue with some Sol de Janeiro. This is sunscreen. This is their Sol Oil. It's SPF 30. This is amazing. I love this stuff so much and these are still good to go. So I will be keeping these. This is like literally my favorite sunscreen ever. It smells so good and I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's actually glittery. I feel like you can't tell. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's glittery and there's a little surfboard in there. So yeah, this is my favorite sunscreen. <laughs> so I am gonna be keeping those. Next, we've got some Trader Joe's products. I've had these for a while and I just reach for other lotions over these or other body butters. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of these. I have so many. And I mean, so many Loving Tan products. This is like self-tanning stuff. So let me grab <laughs> some of this stuff because I definitely don't need all of these. Um, so first off, we have their bronze shimmers. So I have two medium and one dark. Let me see. I'm pretty sure at least one of these. Oh, the dark is open. Um, this one is still sealed and this one is still sealed. So both of the mediums are still sealed, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of these. If I am being honest with myself, I freaking love this packaging. It's fantastic, but the truth is that I just don't self-tan very often. It's not something that I really do. So <laughs> I will keep this. Um, since it's open, I might keep like one of each product, but I definitely don't need five of each, so. <laughs> I'll keep the dark bronze shimmer luminous cream. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we have like a ton of the actual tanning mousse. Like I literally have five of these. So I have a couple of the two hour express. Um, I think I'll keep the two hour express. If I'm gonna use something, it's gonna be this. Both of these are in the shade dark. I guess they redid the labeling here. Um, but I think I'll keep both of these. This one is open, this one is not. And then I have two darks and one medium of the regular deluxe bronzing mousse. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all three of these. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so proud of myself. I love this packaging. I wish so bad that I could use this like every single day, but I just don't. And since I don't sell tan every day, I definitely don't need all of these. Um, so we've got some tan removing mitts and some tan applicator mitts. Um, I have these two, which these are kind of gross. I can probably throw these away. So Some those, the, they're ugly. The, they're just dirty. They're not ugly. <laughs> and I'll keep one of each of these and I will declutter the other four that I'm literally never going to use. This thing is pretty cool and I have used it. This helps you get like hard to reach places like between your shoulders. This is also from Loving Tan. So I'm going to keep that. Then we have some face tanning. I think this is, oh yeah, face tan. Um, I have two of these. Let me see. 
Um, so neither of them are open. I'll keep one and I will declutter the other. They're both in the shade medium. And then we have their gradual tan, which this is something that I would be most inclined to use. Um, just because it's like kind of like a gradual type thing. It's not like a, where you have to take out a whole day because you're self tanning. And I have this in two shades, medium and dark, and I think I'm gonna keep both of them. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little super quick speed round. So I have some um, SPF sticks from Sol de Janeiro. I also have an open one. This open one kind of got sand like all in it and it's kind of gross. So I'm going to toss the open one. It's almost gone as well, uh, but I will keep the two new ones. I have a full size of their dry shampoo in my bathroom that is currently open. So I think I'll keep the full size and I'll go ahead and declutter the mini. This is so hard for me to do, but it's gotta happen. I have the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub and Body Lotion uh, from First Aid Beauty. I think I'm gonna keep both of those. Oh, here is another gradual tan. This one is in dark. Um, is the medium one open? No, the medium one is not open. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the medium one and I will keep the dark one. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab my uh, sprays. I have a few different scents. So we've got the original Brazilian Crush. This one was a collab. We have Chirosa 71. And then we have the Coco Cabana. I think these are the four, are these? I think there's one more. I don't know where it is. Um, but these are the four main scents, so I'm going to keep those. I have a bunch of minis, though, and I don't really need all of these minis. Um, these, this was, like, some project that they did where they were sending out, like, or they didn't send out. I bought this, but it was, like, samples of a bunch of different scents, but they didn't name them. Um, so I don't know, like, what is going on here. I'm going to go ahead and pass them along because... I don't know what the scent is to even like recommend to people. Um, this from Soul Body, I it's like super gold. I am not gonna wear that. I don't know what happened to the lid for this one, but this is like a Soul Body glitter. And honestly, I have other body glitters like Patrick Ta, ABH, so that can go. I have a little uh, perfume. This is the Chirosa 62 from Soul de Janeiro. I'm gonna keep it. Definitely keeping this Kobari Coconut Spritz Mist. It smells so yummy and the packaging is so cute. I really, really like that. This is a hair product, so I'm gonna move that. Oh, here's the lid to that Soul Body Glitter. I have some Kobari products, which I'm gonna keep. The Coconut Crush Scrub, 100%. The Pink Souffle Body Mask, 100%, and the Coconut Melt, 100%. I'm also going to keep the Kopari Coconut Body Milk. This stuff is great. I love Kopari products. I highly recommend you guys check their products out if you haven't already. Here is the other fragrance from Sol de Janeiro that I couldn't find. And my camera battery is about to die. Um, let me see how many Sol de Janeiro products I can get through. We have a conditioner. I'm going to keep it. Um, we have a hand cream. Probably not going to use this, so I can declutter that. I have a mini Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel. I feel like this is good for travel, even though I don't really travel that much. I'm going to I'm gonna do it. I'm going to keep it. Um, we have the deodorant. This is an aluminum-free deodorant. I know it's scented, though, and I'm super picky with deodorants since all of a sudden I got, like, super sensitive to them. So I'm actually going to pass this along since... I'm scared to try it anyway. Um, we have the Brazilian Bod Buff. Do they even sell this anymore? I don't know. I have one of these in my shower right now. I'm gonna keep it. Um, and then I think, oh, here. We have a mini Rio Sunset. I have, all right guys, we are back. My camera battery did in fact die, but we have a fresh one going. Um, I kind of rearranged things just so that everything was a little bit neater and more organized but i was talking about these 
uh, glow oils from Sol de Janeiro. So I have Carnival Queen and Rio Sunset. I have a mini of Rio Sunset. I don't need the mini. So <laughs> um, I'm going to declutter the mini and keep these two. Next, I have some mini Sol de Janeiro body washes. I will get rid of Coco Cabana and I will keep the Brazilian foreplay. I have a full size of Coco Cabana, so I'll keep that one. I have a Coco Cabana um, moisturizer. I will keep that. I have this one. <laughs> this is probably so old. I don't even think they make that anymore. I'm going to declutter it. I have this one, Bombia Bright. This is newer, so I'll keep that. I have a mini of this one. I probably don't need that. I can declutter. Um, and then I have <laughs> these three different sizes of Bum Bum or Boom Boom cream. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll keep this one and I'll declutter. Whoops, the two smaller ones. I'm definitely keeping my La Mer <laughs> body cream. This was like. $300. I can't believe I bought this. I was definitely in a different mindset when I bought this. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it and we're going to use it up because that was way too much money to spend on a freaking lotion. Um, I have these Knipe. I think it's Knipe. Knipe. I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> I have these bath oils. I've had these for a while. They actually sent them to me and I love them. Both of these are open. I also have the like Epsom salts so or mineral bath salts that match and I uh, I really want to try to use these up. These were in our guest bathroom this whole entire time and I just never knew. So I'm going to keep the oils and I'm going to be taking a bath like every single day before we leave here. I have eucalyptus and uh, valerian and hops. Those are the two scents that I have. I really like this stuff, both the oil and the salts. I'm going to keep this tree hut scrub because I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. I have both of these. Um, this is a bath fizz. Look at how cute. <laughs> Oh, you can't even see. Look at how cute this is. I got it from Marshalls. It's so adorable. And I also have this one from Target in the scent Watermelon. Again, I'm going to be taking a bath like every single day until we leave so I can get through some of these bath products. I have a little mini Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Spray. I think it's good to have a small one. Um, this is just shaving cream from Target. It's Smartly is the brand. I don't know, like, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I don't even know why I bought it, but um, here we have, this is the Burst Backup Plan Acne Control Body Mist. I don't really get a ton of body acne. Occasionally I will on my shoulders. Oh, again, I'm not in frame. Shoulders or chest, especially if I'm like working out a lot, which Jarvis and I have been on a little bit of a, a health journey and we're training for a 15k race or run in March so I feel like that's gonna come in handy for me um what else sunscreen is always good to have a apply your SPF people it's definitely good for you I have some drunk elephant products that I really want to try um body lotion this is Oh, is this the same thing? Oh no, this is a different, they have two different body lotions. Um, this is a body cleanser, and then I have a little mini deodorant from them, which I don't think this is scented, so I feel like I would be more inclined to try that one. Speaking of deodorant, I have these two from Kopari. I have Coastal and Beach. I don't know which one to try. Um, well, I guess this one is open. This one is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to try both of them. Ah, you know what? I'm I'm keeping both. I don't even care. This is called Dust or Bust Dust. This is anti boob sweat spray. It's great. Um, there's no talc, no parabens. You just spray it. White powder comes out, and you kind of like pat it into your skin, and it helps prevent sweat. Bio oil is really good to have. It's good for like scars if you guys have scars. I think, let's see, it says 
Specialist moisturizer for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. It's basically just a hydrating body oil. So um, I have some of that. <laughs> we have some body washes that we got like traveling. Like we were out of town when we bought this. So this is like partially used. So we definitely can go ahead and use that. I'll let Jarvis use that up. Same with this one. This is the Sea and Surf. This was in our uh, guest bathroom, but we kind of already deconstructed the guest bathroom, so <laughs> there's nothing in there anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that because I know Jarvis will use that up. I also have some Lush body washes, which I already went through my Lush body washes, and I'm keeping all of these. I have two Wash That Man right out of my hair shower gels. This is the honey I washed the kids scent. It's great. I also have turmeric latte. So I'm gonna keep those. And then I have a massive Snow Fairy body wash. All the glitter is like sunk to the bottom. <laughs> um, massive Snow Fairy. Massive Yog Nog. And then I have a pretty big Nana one. So I'm keeping all of these. I'm about to open Yog Nog. I actually just finished up my body wash. I was using one from Fresh and I just finished it up. So next we are going for Yog Nog. So that's going to go in my shower. But like I said, I just went through my Lush body washes and I'm keeping all of them. I think, oh, I was gonna say, I think this is the last body wash. This is another one that was in our guest bathroom. This is the raw sugar watermelon and fresh mint body wash. Another one that I know we can go through. Um, Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body. This is a like chemical exfoliant serum for your body. That sounds fantastic. We've got After Sun from Way. I will keep. I have, um, this is a body peel. Is this lotion? I think, oh, I want to keep both of them. Should I keep both of them? I'm going to keep the Bath and Body Works one, but I want to use it up. So maybe this will go in my shower first before the huge Lush one. Um, I've got these Victoria's Secret bombshell products. I have the mist and the lotion. I feel like I'll use the mist more than I will the lotion. So I don't even think this is, yeah, this isn't even open yet. So I'll declutter the lotion, but I'm going to keep the mist because that's like a classic scent. Um, then we've got this hemp's lotion, which is open. This stuff smells so good. I need to use that. Warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. This is a classic. I love vanilla anything. So that is going to stay. Cotton candy body scrub definitely is going to have to stay. I have some Frank body scrubs off camera over here that I'm going to keep. And then I have some candy panda scrubs. And I just recently went through these. <laughs> um... So let me just sniff them again and see if any of them smell off. This one smells really good. <laughs> Peach Fizzy Pops smells really good. High Street smells amazing. That smells like 29 High Street from Lush. Forbidden Drink smells... Let me smell it again. Hmm. I feel like uh, it smells a little bit weird. So I think I'm going to declutter that. Lord of Chaos. Oh, that smells delicious. That smells just like Lord of Misrule from Lush. Then we have Electric Lemonade. Ooh, that one mm, has a little bit of a, like a plasticky smell. I feel like this one might be off. It's definitely a bit older. That's like probably the oldest product in my collection. And then we have Root Beer Float. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Okay, so I'll keep these four. And I decluttered two. These Pixie products, I'm really, really tempted to... Tempted to keep them i think they're both still sealed um <laughs> i feel like this stuff is not gonna fit um hmm. i think i'm gonna let them go i'm gonna do it i'm gonna declutter them <laughs> because I have so much other stuff. Uh, speaking of so much other stuff, I literally have so much Boom Boom cream, it's not even funny. Oh, it smells so good. So this is kind of bad because these are getting a bit older. So I definitely need to use these. Um, these are both the Biggie Biggie Bum Bum Cream. These are from previous years. 
So that means one of these is at least a year old and the other one is two years old. And then they sent me a new one for Christmas and I really want to keep it. But is that responsible of me? Probably not. Probably not. So I think... I think I'm gonna declutter this and gift it to someone else because it's just, it's that would be dumb. That would be a bad decision on my part since I have both of these which are like completely full um, to like keep a third one. So no, we're not gonna do that. And then these are just like little scoopers that I have. Then we have this and this is the Galaxy Gorgeous holiday gift set. This comes with a mini Brazilian foreplay body wash, the Boom Boom Body Scrub, which this stuff is great. I think I have it in my, I think it's in my shower right now, actually. Um, or I used it up, I can't remember. The full size of the Boom Boom Cream, which again, I don't need. And then we have the spray. I have all four of these products. I don't need it, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna gift it to somebody else. I just have to figure out who, but yeah, this is a fantastic gift set. <laughs> like, it's great, but it's gotta go. Okay, so, so now um, I'm gonna move all of my body care stuff out of the way and we're gonna put all of my hair care stuff here and then we'll do the same process. Alright guys, so here are all of my hair care products. Um, these ones aren't really organized as neatly, but it's fine. <laughs> we can still go through all of this. So yeah, this should be pretty easy. I'm not super complex when it comes to hair care, so I like shampoo conditioner. I have to have leave-in conditioner. I enjoy hair masks. Um, and the occasional hair oil, you know, purple shampoo. I have blonde hair, so purple shampoo is always great, but um, dry shampoo is another thing. But other than that, I don't really, I don't, I don't know, I don't really do too much. So like styling products, I don't need. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's see what we can, what we can go through. So right away, let's tackle the colorful things first. So I have this from L'Oreal. This is the Colorista like hair dye. It's like a semi-permanent hair color and this is in the shade Soft Pink. I've actually used this before and I really liked the way that my hair looked when I used it. So I do want to keep this. I kind of want to go pink again, just like temporarily. This is kind of, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but this is kind of the, the look that I had and then it faded to a really pretty light pink color like this. So I do want to keep that. Um, I also want to keep this Lime Crime stuff. I've been wanting to do this for so long. So this is like pink tint. It's in the shade Bunny and then this is a pink color conditioner so it helps you maintain the pink color. So. I definitely want to do that. Like, that's so cool, so fun. Um, this one, however, this is like a spray in for color, and this is like a hot pink. I am probably not gonna use this, so this can be decluttered. I have some like glittery stuff, so I have the FOMO Moon Rock Holographic Hair Foam. This stuff is pretty cool. I wanna keep this, and I also wanna keep my dry bar like glitter sprays so um i have the Too faced one and the original like glitter spray i think this kind of only comes out around the holidays i don't even, i don't even know if they sell this anymore but i am keeping all three of these because it's fun what should we do next um i have a bunch of these igk products i got rid of quite a few of them um, and I just, I need to look through them again because I just don't reach for this kind of stuff. Um, this is a pink color spray. Again, like, I don't think I'm going to use this. 
Um, it's pretty cool, but I think it like washes out right away. I just, I don't think I'm going to use it. I want to keep it. Oh, it looks so cute with my other pink products. But do I need that many pink hair products? I'm going to put it in the maybe. <laughs> it's going to be a maybe. Um, this dry shampoo is fantastic from them. This is their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. I'm definitely going to keep that. Um, and then I have these two. So we have the sold out curl priming base coat and the high speed air dry spray. I don't ever use this air dry spray, so um, I'm gonna declutter that just because I never use it. And then this is like a curl priming base coat. Um, it says, yes, I have curly hair. No, I don't wish it was straight. Use this primer as a base coat for defined humidity proof curls that refuse to lose shape, smoothness, or shine. Um, I just, I have like kind of a mix I don't know if I have curly hair. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I'm probably not going to use it. I'm going to declutter it. I have some Oribe products, which were quite expensive. So <laughs> I'm going to keep them. This first one is actually a beach like wave and shine spray. I know I said I don't use styling products, but since this is Oribe, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try to use it. I also have a detangling primer. I do use detangler slash leave-in conditioner um, every single time I get out of the shower. So both of those are good to keep. I have these uh, shampoo and conditioners from Orbe. We have the Bright Blonde shampoo and conditioner. This is like purple shampoo and conditioner, I'm pretty sure. Again, Orbe, very pricey. I am going to keep them. And then I think this is the last Orbe product that I have. This is the Curl Gloss. <laughs> um, it says, apply to damp hair, define curls, diffuse, or air dry. I want to try this at least. So I'm going to keep it so I can give it a try and just see if my hair gets curlier. My hair is super, like, well, it's, like, wavy down here. Not super healthy looking hair. Um, this is just, like, air dried. But the back of my hair and, like, the underneath of my hair gets so curly. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll try it out and see how it goes. Um love a good hair mask we've got briogeo briogeo way and this macadamia deep repair mask i'm gonna keep all four of these because like i said i use hair masks every single week they are great and i have dry hair well i have oily hair but i have dry ends so hair masks are great i have super tangly hair and i find that hair masks help me out when my hair gets really tangly because usually it's tangly because it's like really dry and not the healthiest. Um, I'm also going to keep this way scalp and body scrub. This stuff is really cool. It's an interesting concept, uh, a scalp scrub, but I really like it. So I'm going to keep that. I've gone through a few of those. And then I also have this from way. This is the hair and body shine mist. So this is for hair or body. And again, um, I have used this a few times. It's a bit of a pricier product, so I am going to keep it. I also like it. It's, I'm not only keeping it because it's pricey, but that is definitely part of my decision making. I'm not really getting rid of too many hair care products. <laughs> this is rough. Um, I have a, a hair oil here from Sephora that I recently purchased. This is the Strengthening Hair Serum. I haven't gotten a chance to try that yet, so I am going to keep that um then we have the bio silk silk therapy 17 miracle this stuff is great i find it at tj maxx for ten dollars i'm definitely gonna keep that um this is the three in one leave-in this is a from sunbum i also have the shampoo and conditioner from sunbum i actually think i'm gonna declutter this because i have other leave-in conditioners that i like better so that one can go, but I am going to keep the shampoo and conditioner. This is their Curls and Waves. Um, we, again, bought this when we were out of town, and we definitely will use shampoo and conditioner. So there's two of us in this house, so definitely something we can use. Um, same with this Monday Moisture. This is shampoo and conditioner. These are so cute. I love the packaging. Um, again, these were in our guest bathroom, but 
we are going to be keeping those. And then we have this, which is a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, which we had in our guest bath just because it's like, it matched the shower gel. But um, both of us use like separate shampoo and conditioner. Let me smell this. It smells pretty good. Um, I don't, I don't think either of us are going to use this. Well, I'm definitely not going to use this, but I don't think Jarvis is probably going to use that. So I will go ahead and declutter that. Um, I already said I was keeping the Sol de Janeiro. I just put it back in here because I wanted it to go with my hair products. Um, we have purple shampoo and conditioner from John Frieda that I'm going to keep. And then I also have a purple shampoo from Beach Waver, which I actually bought this from TJ Maxx, but I bought a Beach Waver on Black Friday and I've been really enjoying it. I've used it like three times now. I'm a big fan and I saw that they still sell this on their website. So I figured it would be fun to try. So I'm going to keep all of the purple shampoo slash hair toning items because that's kind of something I can never really you know I, I you can never have too much well I guess you can but <laughs> I'm gonna use it I have some combs this one is from drunk elephant this one is from Sol de Janeiro these are just so cute um let's look at these minis am I gonna use this no um <laughs> am I gonna use this probably not um this maybe this maybe um we'll just do a little that moment so i'll declutter these two and we will keep this stuff i just recently picked this up from tj maxx this is from briogeo this is the be gentle be kind aloe and oat milk ultra soothing detangling spray i will definitely let you guys know how this is um i haven't heard of this product before but i love a good detangler this has no sulfate silicones or parabens it's fragrance free and it just sounds overall like a really good product i have some batiste dry shampoos i have both of these um, I love Batiste, and these are fairly inexpensive. These were $8.99 from TJ Maxx. This is like the huge bottle. Um, they, they used to be even cheaper, but I definitely will use those, so I'm going to keep them. I have some Ex Mondo stuff that I picked up a few months ago. Volumizing foam and moisture cream, I'm going to keep those. I have two round brushes, but I don't think I need two of them, so... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll keep the dry bar one, um, and I will, uh, does it hurt to have two? I also, like, don't think I'm gonna use this, but at the same time, like, am I gonna, like, wish that I had one of these? I don't know. <laughs> My drunk elephant stuff I'm gonna keep. This pink sugar hair perfume, I feel like there's no way this can be good anymore, <laughs> so that's gonna go... Um, it's a 10. I will keep. This is the blonde version. We've got Way, a volumizing hairspray I'll keep. This is a heat protectant from Chi. Um, I, I bought these on someone's recommendation. The Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk. Um, and then I also have the nourishing oil. I used like probably a little bit over half of this and I like it a lot. Um, but I'm using It's a 10 right now so... I'm going to keep those, but just not for now. Um, and then this is a mask that I've had for forever. And I don't know if I'm going to use it. Maybe. We'll keep it for now. Okay, that's all of my hair stuff. <laughs> I didn't get rid of too many hair care products. I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm decluttering. I'm going to line it all up here. And then... Um, we will get to organizing and hopefully it all fits in my Alex 9 drawer unit. I'm really, really hoping that it does. Um, I'm probably going to go through my scrunchies off camera, I, but I have way too many. So definitely need to go through those and maybe that will free up some space as well. So whew, this video is a long one, you guys. Um, all right, let me kind of clean up and then uh, we can get to organizing. All right, you guys, so here is everything that I am decluttering. 
I feel like it didn't feel like that much, but when you look at it all laid out, like, this is a lot of product. Um, I have literally so much stuff here, plus I didn't even think about fitting in this um, whole entire gift set that is separate. But all of this stuff will be leaving my collection, and I'm so glad. I feel like I definitely, well, hopefully, made room for the rest of this stuff to fit. So now let's go ahead and head over to my Alex 9 drawer and reorganize everything. I know this is a super long video, but you guys love these videos. I really like filming them. Um, I'm definitely a bit tired. It's like 10.30 at night, so <laughs> I'm like ready to go to sleep, even though I don't actually go to sleep until like 2 in the morning. Um, but here I have my hair care that I'm keeping here and here. So we're going to head over to that last Alex 9 drawer unit, and we are going to put everything inside. Okay, so all of the hair stuff is put away and everything fit in these first four drawers except for these, which this is shampoo and conditioner, so we will just go ahead and use this next in our shower, but then everything else fit. It's not super cute. I didn't put too much time into organizing it because we are moving in less than a month, so there's not really any point in getting it perfect because I'm just going to have to take everything out again, but... I will give you guys a little overview. So we have this drawer here, which just has some like colorful stuff and minis. Then we have just like random hair care products, leave-in conditioners, dry shampoos, that kind of thing. Then we have more random hair products, leave-in conditioners, hair masks, hair oils. And then here we have some brushes, a hot tool, and then shampoo and conditioner. And then, this should be empty. Yeah, this is all empty. So the bottom, well, I guess the next four drawers are empty, and then this bottom one has the scrunchies and stuff in it, which I still have to go through. Here is all of the body care stuff that I have to organize now. Yay! <laughs> um, hopefully this stuff fits. We will see. Um, but I'm pretty happy with those first four drawers fitting everything except for these two. This is pretty bulky packaging anyway, but it's so cute. So... We will just use this next in the shower, so I'll go ahead and put this in the bathroom um, as like a backup slash our next kind of shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it, but now we will move on to all of this stuff up here and we will start with this drawer and work our way down. Alright you guys, so here are a few things that I did not put back in the drawers. I'm keeping these two bath products out because I want to put these in the bathroom so that I can remember to use those before we move out. And then I just have my La Mer body cream here. Again, I need to remember to use this. I think I'm going to put this beside my bed. So this is the stuff that's not going back in the drawers, but I did fit everything in these bottom 
four drawers so let me just give you an overview once again not organized at all we will save that for when we move to alicia and cameron's i will do like you know a full organized reveal um but i just have like some scrubs and self tanning products in here we have my Sol de Janeiro drawer, which is looking so good. It's looking slim <laughs> compared to how it was before. We have more scrubs and bath products. And then we have shower gels for the most part and some other random things in here. So that is everything. This bottom drawer still has scrunchies in it. I did not go through those, but I'm going to call it here. It's 11.36 p.m. I don't know if you guys can see that, 11.36 p.m. <laughs> it's time for me to wind down for the night, but I'm finally done and it feels so good. My camera battery is literally seconds away from dying. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.